iTunes. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We hang out with Rex every day, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back tomorrow. <laughs> Today. Are you filming me? Yeah. Well, um, grocery shopping, giving you the bath, <laughs> riveting. <laughs> riveting. I'm gonna run. Yeah, it's gonna be a very riveting day. <laughs> yeah, We're just doing I was stuff to around. Like, the... actually vlog at Aldi. Oh, that's cool. Um, and this is when I found out my hair was gonna be this short. I have Rex's tail. Um, this was the thing I was most excited for. A little bun hair dude. So. You happier about it today? <laughs> Who's a bad kid gonna go grocery shop? Bing, blah, blah, blah. Should we see if there's any, uh, St. Patrick's Day stuff at the store? Right here. Okay. Excited? So, we are going to Aldi, which we, that's where we typically would shop when we lived in Florida. But... I mean, until recently, we didn't have a parking spot. And it was hard to, like, it was hard to shop anywhere else but Jewel or Target because those are in walking distance to us. Um, but now that we have the parking spot, obviously we could have, and then we would have just had to, like, find a parking spot. But it just, like, wasn't worth getting in the car and going, losing our parking spot, and then having to come back, unload all of the groceries by, like, next to our apartment and then find a parking spot and all that jazz. It's just a process. And so now that we have this parking yeah. spot, we realize we can just go we can go to Aldi. And I didn't realize that there was one so close to us. James is taking off his shoes. We're going into Aldi. Yeah. Right off the CTA. James loves to hold things that I take. I have to give it to him, he inspects it and then he puts it in the cart. This is how we grocery shop. Did you mention that we have no list? We have no list. We're going rogue. We have no list. We have no dinner plans. There's so a place called just... Lucy's in the corner that I think we should go to. <laughs> <laughs> so we just are going to grab like a bunch of veggies and a bunch of fruits. Uh, uh, Alrighty, here are all of our fruits and veggies. Again, it's so nice because everything is just down the line. We get whatever. We have said before that we aren't crazy about how much plastic is used. Like everything is pre-packaged besides like a handful of things. But then you also like, usually, I wouldn't say you get more. What's that? Just take themselves off. Sure. Um, sometimes like it's more than what I typically would buy. And then that means that like I kind of have to get creative and think of other things to make. Um, and cook and use it all so it's kind of like you win some you lose again we have no list so we're kind of just going with the flow we're out of banana ring banana pepper rings they sell goose island here and we also got some other things that we're running low on like our plant-based milk and there's something else oats where do those go oats and jamesy's yogurt it's a candle. It smells like Soren. It does smell like Soren. It smells like like the ocean scene. We've made great progress. I'm still holding up. We're in the can section, which is going to be a, a big aisle for us. Are you sure? I think so. I mean, like, we need like tomatoes, don't we? For sauce and vegetables Honestly, and beans. Honestly, we kind of have a lot. Probably more so beans. We also realize it's March 3rd and we don't have Green River in our house, so we have to go get that later. We also need dog food, so we need to go to a second place regardless. All right, skipping from one parking lot, literally right next door to the Target. Oh, this is a basement parking lot. That's cool. Never seen that before. We're well, gonna meet up with Sarah and James, who ran in here real quick. Here we are. James has been so good, but I can tell he's reaching his breaking point. We're just waiting for mom. 
to check if there's a green river because we forgot to check in the pop section. Well, we got everything we came for and then some, including some pickles and some plant-based stuff that was on sale. No green river. Bum, ba, da, bum. We broke the cardinal rule of grocery shopping. Never go on a, <laughs> an empty stomach. So we're eating Cheez-Its for the road home. <laughs> well, uh, had a change of events. We drove past Windy City Euro and Sarah was like, wait, I don't need that. <laughs> Look at this. The art of a quality Euro. I like their dressing isn't as like, thick. thick. Yeah, it looks lovely. And if you've never had a Euro meal, I highly yeah, recommend. Yeah. <laughs> James is really good about apparently dunking his own french fries in the tzatziki sauce. Mm. Maybe not using the fork. Mm. He loves him some bonnie. Um, just put all the groceries away. I decided not to do a haul because I know we showed a lot at the store. And I don't have any like dinners planned. Um, and so I'll just do some cook with me this upcoming week. We ate that whole Euro plate. It was so good. And I'm like, so, so full. So I'm just going to sit here for a little bit. Just a quick four miles done at the gym. I didn't want to overdo it because I have orange theory in the morning. Um, but I'm hoping to put in, I think I'm going to get overzealous and say 16 miles between Saturday and Sunday. I think I'm going to do a, a six miler one day and a 10 miler the next. It's supposed to be gorgeous this weekend. Like we're talking 65 on Saturday. That is not Chicago. So I'm going to take advantage of it and go for hopefully two runs this weekend outside. Got a good orange theory tomorrow morning to get ready for the weekend. Just excited. I think I'm going to stop in Jewel and uh, see if they've got some Green River on stock because we couldn't find it at Target or Aldi earlier. So I'm going to hit that up because it's March. Here we go. And a five for five. You know what that means. Five Green Rivers are coming home. This is what you call a good Chicago start to the St. Patrick's Day season. I may live in Chicago forever. I may not live in Chicago forever, but there's one thing that will undoubtedly live in perpetuity inside my heart and mind. One, that Chicago is the best city of all time. And two, there's just something about city living that is just like almost unlike anything, unlike anything else in the world. Like just to be a few hop skips and a jump away from so many accessories like to your life like grocery stores pet vets haircuts parks just beautiful things to stroll through it's just incredible and there's always life going on it's always awake to some degree or another i'm just glad i'm appreciating it now what's in here what's the daddy get Whoa. <sighs> I had the same reaction. It's awesome. It's so great. <laughs> We've been watching Nemo. While Daddy was at the gym. Finding Nemo is low-key very scary. It starts with the Barracuda. Then it goes right into Nemo being taken. And those divers, that whole situation is very scary. And then the sharks come. So every five seconds, James is like, I'm gonna have I'm like, this is a scary movie. Andy, I have news for you. It's bath night for you, Billy. Ready? You don't even know. It's bath night. Come on. Come on. Okay, goodbye. Put some babies in the bag. Put some babies in the bag.
Look at how cute Evie is. We always say she looks like a house elf. <laughs> She's never had a bath oh this early. God. Yeah. Look at this fresh pup. What's the obvious thing you do before about ten? You cause chaos. You are like the whole The first green river of this season. We're gonna have this and we'll finish this first episode of season two Peaky Blinders. And then go to bed? Yeah. Sleep. And what are you drinking? I'm drinking the Sexton, which is an Irish whiskey. Oh, wow. Did and you use one of your big ice cubes? I did. And the bottle um, I had information about, like, it's a female lead, like, head distiller. It was pretty cool. James went down super easy for you, right? Yeah, it was a little later. We had, like, an active end of the night. I was a little bit worried because he was, like, a little too active. Um, but tired. The light is always so flickery right here. I'm so sorry. Well, a couple of weeks from now, we'll take those lights down and it'll, it'll end. Tomorrow's Let's the weekend. Leave them up all year round. I'm down. <laughs> it's good to be it's home. It's good to be home. Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. I wanted to show you this. I'm on my way to Orange Theory. It's 5:45 in the morning. And the sky is lightning. We're less than 30 minutes away from sunrise. That means the dark, dark hole known as Chicago winter is beginning to wane. One hour later. What did I tell you? The sun was coming up. Remember when I first started going to Orange Theory and it would still be pitch black out when the class would get done? Now look at this. It's so cold, it's 30 degrees, but you know, we'll take what we can get here in Chicago. Good morning. I am about to go into my midwife's appointment. I don't get to see Teddy today, but I do get my Rogam shot. I'm getting my Tdap vaccine and just talk a little bit more about like my blood work and glucose. So kind of a like less exciting appointment. Um, but a big one. It's my last one in like my 20s. Like the next time I go, I'll be over 30 weeks. Alrighty, I am home. It was a straightforward appointment. Everything went well. They gave me a little bit more information about um, like the options regarding my placenta, but we really won't know until my next ultrasound, which will be like right around 32 weeks. And then we'll be able to like switch gears and start prepping for C-section. Um, it's really the only option because it can be dangerous if the placenta is in the way of the baby um, if I were to try for a VBAC. And so really it's C-section is the only option um, if it remains too close to my cervix. Um, but then if not, then we'll really start prepping for VBAC and all of that. So we won't really know. Um, and honestly, I'm like, I have a lot of peace with like the potential for C-section because we've always kind of been like, Considering the pros and cons of both, um, I feel like with infertility, we learned a lot of like letting go of control and this isn't even something, this is nothing like, to it's totally out of my control. There's nothing I can even do. Like at least when Jamesy was breech, I could do like positions and try all these tips and tricks to get him to flip. Whereas this is just, it is what it is kind of situation. And so we're just gonna have to wait and find out and I'm like I feel like I want to like start preparing for either option but knowing that knowing that like I already feel at peace with both options is like very good for my mental health also like 
if I just want to say I want a c-section like I truly am in control in that way um so yeah I feel good I don't feel as like worked up as I typically do after um appointments and I I don't know maybe it's just it's just where we are in the pregnancy and um I don't know how I don't know why I explained it that's just how I feel today so James and I are going to relax. He did wake up a little bit earlier today, so that'll probably probably mean an earlier nap, which I wouldn't mind if I could close my eyes for a little bit too. Also, do not mind <laughs> these cuts on my nose. I mean, they're pretty obvious, but James got like a little excited with a book last night and I, I knew it hit me. Like I felt it and like it wasn't an intentional hit, but like he was reading and he was just like, a burst of energy i knew that it hit me because it hurt but like i did not realize until this morning like that it had actually cut me why is everybody so sleepy today hmm james took a three-hour nap so far i've gotten eight minutes in uh-uh yeah I took a snooze. Yay. Yay. What? You're still in your jammies? It's Friday. Friday. And James fallen in love with Doug Days. The shorts on Disney Plus. You ever have that moment where like you just rest your head and you get sleepy and then you doze off and then you wake up even more tired than you were earlier? That's what happened to me. But after 30 additional minutes of just like sitting there, I think I have mustered my energy back up because it is Friday, it's the weekend. And so I'm going to cook. We're just going to make some curry vegetables and then we're actually going to end up with pasta rather than rice per Sarah's request. Um, so I'm going to get that started. Here's what we have going first. Onions and potatoes take the longest to saute up. So they're going, they're almost ready. We got some pasta in here. We're gonna use this curry sauce, and I think I'm gonna make sure these shallots are good and then chop up maybe one of these peppers, toss in there before we uh, mix it all together. So it's pretty simple, but delicious dinner. These are Jamesy's choice of snack. They are spicy, and he is affected less by them than I am. And I can take spicy. Um, we have Encanto on while Peter is cooking us dinner, but I ordered something for a kicker, um, from a Venezuelan restaurant nearby. It's not a Colombian restaurant, but they have a ribs and queso, and Peter told me that if I could find them to order them, so I did. All right, here we go. We have our veggies all cut up with our curry paste in there simmering up, um, those red peppers just got tossed in. I want to keep those kind of juicy, but the pasta is ready. We're going to toss this, this on top of that, and we'll be eating here in a moment. Mom, so excited. This is where we ordered from. Okay, Peter, here is your arepa. I know they... Sure, right? Yeah, I'll share it all. Well, Look at that. Oh. It looks so yummy. And then these are like stuffed fried plantains. There's cheese, chicken, and beef. Ooh, starting out with the noodles. And just the biggest empanada I've ever seen. And that is beef. We're just playing with some Play-Doh. So many people come oh. <laughs> He loves it. It's been our new thing. Where are you going? Thank you. Are you going to get those blocks? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Take a boo over here. I love you. Watch it. Uh, also in the background, a little documentary on Jane Goodall. James is... Last night, Evie got a bath. Tonight is James's turn. Evie is pumped. So James went down pretty early today. I think we're going to watch Spider-Man No Way Home because Secret's out. We've actually never seen it. 
Yeah, which means we haven't seen the new one either. Right, but the new one's not out yet, but um, our lovely Christina got antsy and pre-ordered it because she thought it came out already. Wait, there's two we haven't seen. Three? No, no just one. So there's one we haven't seen, which is oh. No Way Home. And then there's the new, new one that isn't out yet. I wanted to go to the movies today. I thought that that Turning Red movie came out today. It comes out next week. Yeah, it's that's going out to Disney+. Plus. Oh, it's not going to the movie theater? Nope. I want to bring James to the movie theater, I think. We can bring him to go see really the new um, Poltergeist. The name of the game. Aged Irish Cheddar Beer Cheese. With crackers. For the movie. Pause. Sarah and I just got into a massive, massive argument. She's sleeping in the van. I'm sleeping on the couch. No <laughs> one is sleeping in our room. James went to Christian and Grants. Didn't happen. But we, we never did decide. Had a fight. <laughs> <laughs> we did decide that we, um, because I've been falling asleep since four o'clock, and Sarah's been uncomfortable and tired all evening that we're going to watch the Spider-Man movie from our bedroom. So we're going to sign off here and say get ready to rock and roll this weekend because we've got no plans. We do have plans. We're going to the Garfield Park Conservatory tomorrow. What time? 12.45. Oh my god. I have to run before that then. It's not that early. I got to edit this before then. It's good, good to be home. It's good to be home. One of the dogs. I was born a dog. <laughs> it was a very interesting situation. <laughs> it's a very interesting situation. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.